Hey guys, what is up? My name is Joe and welcome back to another action video. Today we're going to react to top 10 classical music composers, alright? So, uh, yeah. Uh, this channel is about music and about a lot of people, like saying singers, songwriters, like a lot of great uh, music in industry, you know? So right now we're going to see the music composers at, in top 10. So, this is a watch mojo. Uh, hopefully I'm not going to get blocked. I'm sorry. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Let's just dive into it. By the way, uh, I upload a bunch of videos, guys, on YouTube every single day. So go to my channel. Check them out. If you like what you see, subscribe for more. Uh, tell me in the comments what is your favorite video to watch. I'm going to react to it very shortly. Right now, let's just dive into it and see what happens. Let's go. Watch Mojo. They right. lived to create music. Welcome to WatchMojo.com. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 composers. Okay. I For think this Beethoven list, we're is sticking be to like composers it. from the Baroque, Classical, and Romantic periods, and excluding 20th century classical composers. Okay. Number 10, Antonio Vivaldi, Baroque. I don't know. Don't know that. Oh, the Four Seasons? I know this one. Oh, yeah. Oh. Da -da -da. Oh, yeah. Though he was a I priest, love the music, a master music. of violin, and an opera impresario, Vivaldi is known as one of the Baroque era's greatest composers. Blending harmony, melody, and instrumental parts, the Red Priest's lively and imaginative musical compositions were he was even a priest? fit for European monarchs. While the virtuoso violinist also wrote and produced operas, it was his groundbreaking The Four Seasons that set the standard for concertos. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I love this. Da -da 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 -da. Oh yeah. Number nine, Franz Schubert, Romantic. No, I don't know. This he one. may not have lived to see his 32nd birthday, but Schubert's technical skills and experimental side were more than aptly displayed in his 600 plus leader or art songs, chamber works, operas, and more. I don't this one. I don't know. I don't know this one. I'm sorry. By setting Wilhelm Müller's poems to music, Schubert laid the blueprint for song cycles. Meanwhile, the melodies, harmonies, contrasting moods, and orchestration of his symphonies made him one of the foremost romantic composers. Number eight, Johannes Brahms, Romantic. Always a perfectionist, Brahms rewrote several of his works after mastering the Baroque and classical writing techniques of counterpoint and development. Dude, there's two Aside people on the piano. Aside from his chamber, oh orchestral my God. and vocal compositions, the highly skilled pianist found recognition for his choral work and the smaller scale Hungarian dances. Okay. Thanks to its purest yet innovative musical approach, the romantic composer's many piano concertos, string quartets, and symphonies are still performed today. I don't know a lot of these, you know? Number seven, Georg Friedrich Handel, Baroque. His cantatas and Italian operas garnered him international fame and a gig as King George I's official music maker. But after oh. producing the orchestral movement Water Music, Handel made his name by writing the first English language oratorio, Esther, and the popular choral work, Messiah. Oh, I know this one. Add his anthems, concertos, orchestral writings, and theatrical works, and it's Dude. easy to see why Handel is considered one of the Baroque's. Pyotr Ilyich Tchaikovsky. Romantic. Tchaikovsky, yeah, I know this one. Let's practice. Preoccupied with how listeners experienced his compositions, Tchaikovsky filled his music with heavy orchestration, varied emotional ranges, contrasting timber tones, and 18th century pastiche style. The first internationally recognized Russian composer also combined Western European techniques with his native approach. 
In addition to symphonies, concertos, operas, and his Romeo and Juliet masterpiece, his ballets remain popular thanks to their full melodies and carefully crafted dance music. Swan Lake, do okay. Number five. Frédéric Chopin, romantic. Oh, yeah. Though he moved to Paris, the introverted romantic composer is one of Poland's most respected figures. Chopin. The piano child prodigy turned patriotic Pole mostly wrote highly detailed and technically challenging piano works. He was also known for writing the first instrumental ballads and transforming etudes from teaching material to concert pieces. With his sense of melody and emotion, Chopin expanded the genres of Nocturne, the Viennese Waltz, and Polish Mazurkas. That is good, that is good. Number four, Dude. Richard Wagner, Romantic. He forever changed German operas with his use of light motifs, melody, oh. rhythm, harmony, and That's orchestration. Good. By writing I the libretto and the musical score, he united multiple art forms in his music dramas, most notably in his epic Ring Cycle. Yeah, I know Though this Wagner one. authored some highly controversial writings, he also wrote one of history's finest operas and paved the way for 20th century classical music with Tristan und Isolde. Number three, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, All right, classical. Yeah. Dude, he's so good, Mozart. Mozart embodied musical elegance, grace, and passion. Already playing keyboard, violin, and composing songs by age five, he later defined wow. piano concertos with his complex orchestration. Dude, at age five. Wow. He was a prodigy. By refining the scope and techniques of Baroque composers, Mozart also wrote exquisitely balanced symphonies, operas, sonatas, and chamber music. The musical clarity and transparency of his compositions positioned him as one of the most significant classical composers of all time. Da, 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 da. Number two, Ludwig von Beethoven, classical romantic. Uh, Though he oh, studied yeah. with Haydn and was influenced by Mozart, the virtuoso pianist and incomparable composer epitomized oh, yeah. classical music with his ambitious and heroic this symphonies, very, very concertos, good. and sonatas. Oh. However, it was his more inventive, profound, and personal works crafted amid his increasing deafness that set the stage for Romanticism. Beethoven's Ninth has been hailed as one of history's finest musical works and remains one of the world's most recognizable symphonies. Imagine, like Number the one, best in history. Number one, Johann Sebastian Bach, Bach uh, Baroque. Uh. While Mozart's and Beethoven's rankings are arguably interchangeable, there's little doubt as to the identity of history's greatest composer. Believing music's purpose was the glory of God and the refreshment of the soul, Bach creatively fused other European styles with his German approach. Oh, I know this one. I know this one, oh yeah. Oh yeah. His deep, beautiful, and technically complex works for organ, violin, cello and flute were colored with motifs and his own contrapuntal style. With music in his blood, the original father of harmony was destined to become a highly proficient multi-instrumentalist and brilliant Baroque composer. Dude, this music ends on another, another level. Today, his mass in B minor is considered one of history's greatest musical compositions. Do you agree or disagree with our list? Who is your favorite composer of all time? Be sure well, to subscribe to WatchMojo.com for more. Yeah, yeah, go more and subscribe. Top tens. Go and subscribe to them. That is.
very good. That is very, very good. Uh, by the way, my favorite one is not uh, is Abba. Okay, my favorite one is uh, Mozart. I don't know why. Uh, it's Mozart. I, I just uh, he's something else. I know, maybe, maybe he's like, and I love Bach, I love uh, Beethoven, I love, I love every, every way, you know. But like, for my favorite is like Mozart. It's just like closer to my heart. I don't know why. Anyway, hopefully, guys, you enjoyed my reaction. If you did, you know what to do. And I'm gonna see you in the next video. Okay, thank you so much for watching.